Breaking overnight, more fallout for Missouri Senator Josh Hawley. There is now a new attack ad against the senator, and a man who has spent millions on Hawley's political career is now denouncing him. However, the freshman senator is not backing down from his critics. Our Ryan Dean is live this morning with more. Good morning, Ryan. Hey, good morning, Rennie. Yeah, there are people this morning calling for the senator's resignation, saying that basically he should not have challenged the presidential election results on Capitol Hill. But Holly is not apologizing and saying he was standing up for what millions believe uh, could be some issues with the election process. Hey, Senator Holly. Traitor. There's a word you may have heard of. Scumbag. New overnight, this attack ad on Josh Hawley. It's from the Lincoln Project, a GOP anti-Trump group that has more than 2 million followers on Twitter. Also this morning, one of Hawley's biggest political donors coming out against the Missouri senator for challenging presidential election results. Businessman David Humphreys releasing a statement to the Missouri Independent. Part of it reads, Hawley's irresponsible, inflammatory, and dangerous tactics have incited violence and further discord across America. Holly is yet to respond to that statement, but he did take to Twitter Thursday after publisher Simon & Schuster canceled a book deal with the senator. He tweeted he would see the company in court, calling the publisher's decision a direct assault on the First Amendment, writing the left is looking to cancel everyone they don't approve of. I will fight this cancel culture with everything I have. And I think Holly takes the counterpunch route. He doesn't back down. He doesn't apologize. He continues to move forward. Umzo professor and five on your side political analyst Anita Mannion telling R. Casey Nolan that she sees Hawley trying to win over the president's supporters for a possible run at the White House or VP pick in 2024. I think he is a Trump 2.0, you know, maybe the newer, sleeker version. He has the certainly the intellectual and academic credentials. However, Mannion does say she thinks Senator Hawley is uh, running astray by delving into what's being called false allegations and baseless claims. Now, coming up in 10 minutes, Abby Larico has more on Hawley and why it's unlikely he will be removed from Senate, even though some are calling for that to happen. That is the very latest this morning. I'm Ryan Dean, five on your side. All right, Ryan, thank you.